Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the data visualization basics in R tutorial series. So today we'll be looking at how to create dot plots in R. So let's open our R script and install the ggplot2 package. We will continue using the CO2 package that we have been using for the past couple of videos. So here we have five columns and we'll be working on the uptake column here and we will be seeing how different kinds of plants are having uptakes of co2 so like last time let's create a sample plot and here we tell r that we want to represent our data as dot plot so in this case each dot represents one observation and as mentioned here we can control the bin width so let's change our bin weight to maybe one yeah we can actually increase it further okay better so something to like keep in mind is that here the bin position is based on the method we provide so the default method is dot density and in this case the bin position is decided based on the data and the bin width but we can control it and make the bins of fixed position and more like a histogram by specifying the method to be histo dot so this looks more similar to a histogram and also we can do something like stacking here so for that we use the stack ratio option and let's say 0.5 so now we see that the dots have been stacked so here the if you want to be more stacked just reduce the ratio so if you reduce the ratio to 0.2 you can see that it's stacked even further let's keep it something like 0.7 or 0.8 yeah this is better also in this case i feel the y-axis don't make real sense so we can go ahead and in fact remove the y-axis by using the scale underscore y underscore yeah continuous and just have null here with breaks also equal to null yeah so this way we can just visualize and know that how much uptake are happening for each kind of plants so this is a very basic way of representing but yeah in some cases it's very handy so that's all for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more r data analysis or visualization related videos till next time ciao